So where exactly is carbon fibre used in a racing car? Well, in a Formula One car, it's used almost everywhere. You'll be surprised what could be replaced that would normally be made out of metal, but can be made out of carbon instead. You're probably not surprised to hear that the tub itself, the chassis, is made out of carbon, and that's got to be incredibly strong because it has to take enormous loads when they're crashed. It's got to be very strong in torsion as well. Another thing that is also carbon on uh, most racing cars is the crash structure because it's incredibly good at absorbing impacts and absorbing energy in a controlled manner. So this little item here, this is a chassis crash tube. So this is what the, in homologation of the chassis, this is what the chassis is crashed into um, at the giant test on the trolley. So there'll be four of these sticking out of the wall, crashes into that at about 40 miles an hour, and that's how the chassis is tested, and that's a real one. The gearbox casing is also made out of carbon on a lot of Formula One cars. So previously this would have been made out of cast titanium, which is incredibly expensive and difficult to do. But if you know how to make one out of carbon, you can make one that is lighter. And that's very important in Formula One. Um, and finally, the aero structures on almost all racing cars are made out of carbon. So they will be sandwich structures like this little bit here. This is a closed cell foam with a very thin skin of carbon on the outside. So that's off the front wing of a Formula One car. It would be that way up to give downforce. That is incredibly stiff, but it's also incredibly lightweight because it's got nothing in the middle other than that foam stopping it from collapsing. 